What up, this is July from Kickback to Tour, and today we're gonna talk about Club Grand's tape cassette deck rack extension. Let's get it. So let's go ahead and bypass this. <laughs> and let's slowly dial it in to something that we like. So, whoops. This is what it sounds like when you just drop it on. This is on my master channel, and we can see how it completely changed the quality of my beat to match the, that of a tape cassette. So, let's bring down the dry wet mix first of all. And here we have tape quality. And let's go ahead and solo the melodies so that we can hear those by themselves and then go from there with everything else and I'll talk about the instruments soon that I used in the drums so this is tape quality and I'm gonna leave it about 41% next is the head quality And you can hear how that changes. It's like a subtle wobble I hear. And then next we have the motor quality. Let's start with everything down for a second. So this is with everything completely at zero. And we hear the wobble so it's a pretty cool effect if you want to put that on a single sound also and then here we have our input gain and our output gain when you see the tape moves it's animated which is really cool um, it's more like a, a giphy it kind of snaps into place it's not uh doesn't move with the motion of the song but you know who cares it's just a picture <laughs> or a moving picture this part right here is uh tape so you can change it the tape type to normal chrome or metal I'm gonna stick with metal and here's the noise type high low to off i'd keep it low and then change my dry wet and it gives your beats this tape smooth tape sound if if uh, that's what you would call it that's what I would call it yeah so pretty nice wait for my beat to drop again and make sure this is the sound I want And like I said, I could copy these settings and place it in a master bus on my, in my uh, melody group or something like that. But I'm loving the way this sounds. So if you're filling the tape cassette deck, definitely go check it out. The introduction price is $25 and you can also rent to own while it's this low, $9.99 a month, I believe. 10 bucks a month so you'd be going about three months and the last month will be only five bucks so i definitely check this out they also have the vst version i'll drop that down in the description if you use more than one doll like yours truly you might want to get the vst so that you have more versatility in the plugin and where you want to use it so so as far as the instruments i use this mic well made it piano is coming straight from the Vaulted Collection refill I did in collaboration with DNA Labs. Um, no effects on it, just a simple EQ. The next sound I added was this uh, Tune Micro Twine sound, which comes from the, the Sound Iron Tune Micro kit. I'll drop that in the description as well. Uh, the Tune Micro sound is what you hear. Then I added the sound for mini bit. I created it from scratch. And that sound sounds like this. 
And I did put effects on that shaper box at halftime. I'll drop those in the description as well. There is only halftime on the Tune Micro. I'll drop that in the description. And then I added uh, lullaby keys from Maya. And uh, that sounds like this. Really dope sound. I used Glitch 2 and halftime for it. So this is what it sounded like before. With Glitch 2. Halftime. As far as my drums, Torch Kick, Boom Light Year, DJ Icon Snare, Boom Light Year, TCE Luger Snare, it's coming from Av McCree's Trap Camp Kit. Uh, it's the second one. Didn't use that. This Hulk hi hat is coming from Boom Light Year. And that's all I use. My 808 is coming from Boom Light Year. It's the 808, Arcade 808. And that's all we got for sounds. Really simple beat. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture. Kick back and cook up. Like me.